Hi, in this recording, we're going to build an automation engine for our IoT Edge network. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that all of our prerequisites are met. We need to install a database. We need to have an MQTT broker going. And we need to download or otherwise develop our custom administrative interface that we're going to be using for editing automation rules. In addition to that, once that's completed, we're going to launch the Intel XDK, which is Intel's JavaScript development tool for IoT, and build a project that allows us to trigger automated rules on the Edge network. So let's start with the prerequisites here of making sure that our database is running. You can see here that I have a database, a MongoDB database, running on the gateway. I also have a uh, the sensor data is currently being sent over MQTT. Here I've subscribed to the sensors uh, temperature data topic, and we're getting all the temperature values that are being generated. This, if you want to see how to generate this data, please go back to our second webinar, which was on uh, devices and visual programming. And the end result of that lab is this data right here. Then we also have this custom administrative interface. This custom administrative interface is very simply a, uh, an Angular JS application that we developed. And it looks like this. Let me launch the server. Oop. There it is. So it gives you a nice little dashboard, tells you how many sensors are on your network, how many actuators are on your network, and how many triggers or business rules you have on your network. We can go down to uh, here and list the sensors that are on our network. So right here we have a, a, a single temperature sensor with the, and its ID is sensor ID. Uh, it's analog and it gives us a value every 1,000 milliseconds. Let's go over to our business rules. Here's our screen for editing business rules. Now, just to remind you again, this particular interface is not an Intel product. This is an in-house product that you or your company might have developed for your own applications. So if we go look at temperature OK, we see that the trigger has its name, the sensor that it's associated with, a predicate function here, which says that this should trigger if the value of the temperature is greater than 20 and less than 27. And um, if, if that happens, we should do something. You know, maybe we just want to say, all is well. All right, and save that. Uh, we also have a rule that says if the temperature is greater than 27, we want to log temperature is too hot. And if it's less than 27, we might want to log that the temperature is too cold. Later on, I'll show you how you can import JavaScript libraries into these predicate functions and action functions so that we can do some more interesting actions, like uh, maybe if the temperature is too hot, you want to send an SMS alert to an administrator. Or perhaps you want to turn on a motor. Or maybe you want to send an HTTP request, a RESTful request to a cloud-based API that'll fire some action. Uh, all of that's easily done, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that uh, a little bit later. All right. So this is our user administrative interface. And next, we're going to go and develop our automation engine.